Hi guys, it's Ben here and Liverpool are in the Champions League proper. We've just beaten Hoffenheim by four goals to two in the second leg of the playoffs. So that's what, six for an aggregate. Game has just finished a few seconds ago. Delighted, relieved. I mean, we knew after 20 minutes it was game over. We just came out and it was a bit like the start of last season, just rampant. The front three just interchanging, so much pace, the movement, the awareness, especially of Mane on a couple of those goals were just remarkable. Delighted, delighted with the four goals and that was really us back to our old selves. The way we played against Palace on Saturday was very different. It was it was dogged, it was workmanlike. We got the 1-0 win. This is a Liverpool we want to see. We saw glimpses of it against Watford in the second half there and I guess at times in the Hoffenheim first leg we saw or, you know, a little teaser of what we can do going forward. But this is Liverpool at Anfield, you know, on a European night, just absolutely free flowing. Defensively, look, Lovren makes a cock up on the first goal, and he's beaten the air too easily for the second, although he was two on one there. So, by no means a perfect display, and there are still concerns with the defence, and I think a lot of us will still agree that we do need Virgil van Dijk or someone else in that position that's going to help us through, whether we get them or not. We'll have to see in the next few days. But four goals for Liverpool tonight. Let's look at the player ratings as we advance into the last 32 of the Champions League. So excited to be amongst Europe's league again. So, Mignolet. Uh, it looked a bit iffy on a couple of crosses. There was that one that he punched and tried to gather and uh, got it eventually, but far from convincing, you get one of those every now and then for Mignolet and sometimes he will get punished. Um, I wish he'd cut that out. Uh, I, get, I don't know if it's decision making. Sometimes he'll just stay on his goal like he did for a Kakas against Watford. Sometimes he'll come out when he shouldn't. He just needs to concentrate, get that right. Other than that, it's shot stopping. He didn't have too much to do. Uh, there was one which I think took a nick and he did well to sort of divert away. Other than that, he can't do much about either of the goals. Just a 6 out of 10 from him. And the, the same can be said for most of the defence, really. Trent did pretty well. Uh, maybe tried a bit too much. Maybe, but I, I love his confidence. I love his positivity. I love how he gets forward. He drives with pace. Uh, but he does often try and take on one too many players and he gets tackled. That, I mean, that is literally just youth. I mean, sometimes he'll take a, take two or three men on and you know find himself on the bar and he'll cut it back. So I'm, I'm by no means penalising him. I still thought he played really well. And same in the first leg too. 7 out of 10 tonight for him. Uh, Matip, pretty quiet night I guess, um, he was definitely the best of the two centre-halves, um, fresh off the back of a great performance on Saturday against Crystal Palace, I thought he did okay tonight, wasn't at fault for either of the goals directly, um, obviously he's at the scene of the crime and you can say that about him you know, quite often, whether that's his fault, probably isn't, uh, maybe he just needs a better partner, but tonight he's probably a uh, 7 out of 10. Lovren is at fault for the first goal and gets beaten in the air for the second, um, he still looks pretty unconvincing to be honest with you. I hope this is just a blip for him because we know he has great moments of form and he just goes off the boil for a couple of weeks but tonight's probably a 5 out of 10. Um, Moreno's caught out positionally once or twice but I thought getting forward he was pretty positive. Um, I think he's probably a 6 out of 10 standard okay one or two mistakes sort of Moreno performance which we're accustomed to. And he, you'll take that over some of the mad ones he throws in every now and then. Uh, onto the midfield. Henderson got better as the game went on. Obviously, the great uh, the tackle for the for the fourth goal that eventually clinched it for us. Um, other than that, I thought just full of energy. Really, I thought it was one of his most energetic display so far this season. By no means spectacular, but solid um, for the for the pure endeavour that he showed for the last goal and just his general uh, solidity throughout the game. I'll give him a seven. Um, Vinaldum. Uh, he put himself about, got forward well, had a couple of chances, obviously there was that sitter clean through when he really should have scored, um, tried to lift it over the keeper at pace, keeper got a little touch on it, goal kick was given for some reason but um, that was, probably was typical Gini Van Alden sort of territory, should have put that one away, he was doing that uh, in the middle of last season when he had that good run of scoring at Anfield, uh, but by no means a concerning display, he, was, he put himself about, probably a 6 out of 10. Emre Chan though was just absolutely sensational. 9 out of 10 for me, not just the goals, I mean the first one's a bit lucky, second one he's just in the right place at the right time, but honestly he was just absolutely everywhere, his passing was remarkable, it's one of his best ever Liverpool displays, what a time to do it as well, he's a big game player in Chan. he was last year, I remember his performance against Man City being outrageous, loads of big games where he just stepped up, what a promising performance and as I keep saying, please just let him sign that contract, this was what he's all about and if this was a, a German midfielder playing for a, a Bayern Munich or someone else and we saw this performance we'd be saying that is the exact sort of player we need in our team, he's worth 50 million, you know, the whole of Europe would be after him. Uh, he's still obviously got a lot of maturing to do, we need to see this performance more consistently but he's had a good start to the season and this was absolutely phenomenal from him. And on, as for the front three, 
what can you say? Mohamed Salah was a constant threat, gets his goal, is in the right place, just as he was against Watford. Uh, he's going to get a lot of goals for us this season. Whether he's always 100% in terms of the performance, I don't know. You know, sometimes his touch is a bit off or his finishing isn't quite there, you know, in every chance that he gets, especially on his right foot. But he was a constant threat, as, as he always is. He's just always so involved in the game. Um, and he seems to be on the same wavelength as the guys around him, Firmino and Mane. It's an 8 out of 10 for him. Sadio Mane was sensational. Uh, he's, he's become the man. He's become the man at Liverpool. And yes, he misses that chance in the first half when he's cleaned through. But his awareness for the, was it the third goal, Emery Chan's goal? Uh, the second Emery Chan goal, when they just seized the run for Firmino behind him, back heel. I think the, the, the first goal had, had similarities to that as well. Um, wonderful, wonderful from him. 9 out of 10. Can't do, the, can't do anything other than that. And to be honest with you, I'm going to give the same to Firmino. So typical of Firmino tonight, just so clever. He was so isolated at times as well. Well, he had to wait a little while for the players, you know, wide of him to, to bomb forward, and he just picked his passes so well. Assists, a goal, just absolutely what you want from Firmino. I mean, he gets criticised for not being uh, quick enough, maybe sometimes, or strong enough, or various things. But his technique, his panache, his awareness. This is a centre forward display of the highest calibre, 9 out of 10, couldn't be happy with all of the front three and uh, Emre Chan. what a performance. Let's hope we can replicate this against Arsenal because if, if the front three can perform anywhere near as good then they'll have no chance of keeping us out, uh, the midfield needs to be on it as well, but yeah, what a night. As for the subs, uh, James Milner comes on, he's pretty strong, he sits quite deep. Uh, probably a 6 out of 10. Joe Gomez, 6 out of 10, whatever. Ragnar Clavin, 6 out of 10. Happy to get the win. The subs were pretty uh, self expansion I suppose. They didn't come too late in the day, which was which was good. Um, let's hope we get a good draw. I mean, we're going to be in the pot three, so there is going to be at least one or two really difficult sides. So excited. We'll have a look at that tomorrow. We'll react to that at the time. But, guys, I don't think I've got much negative to say. I mean, obviously, Dayan Lovren was not at his best tonight and that's a concern he hasn't been great this season at all and we do need to replace him or you know find another centre back that's going to come in and, and be an option uh, whether we get Van Dijk or someone else uh, you know looks like Johnny Evans going to Man City for 30 million so you can see the sort of market we're in people do need depth in that position uh, Johnny Evans I mean 30 million wow who would have thought it but look leave a comment with your man of the match and your thoughts on the game maybe some player ratings too let me know if you disagree with any of mine if you think I'm being too harsh or too generous with some of them hope you enjoyed the video guys please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff drop a like share the video for me and follow my other socials it's been my say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. See you next time. Up the Reds.